Gettysburg College and Clarkfield played host to the 2013 Centennial Conference Women's Cross Championship. Fifth-ranked Bullets faced off with sixth-ranked F&M in the title game. In the conference's most storied rivalry, it was the newest generation of Bullets that shine. Freshman Amanda Baruki handed Gettysburg the early lead with a goal from the right side, before fellow first-year Maggie Connolly added back-to-back -back goals to spot the hosts a 4-1 advantage. The Diplomats would rebound to tie the game at 5 before Connolly took over in the draw circle. The first year helped set the stage for the offense by winning a season-high 8 draw controls in the contest. Another score by Baruki off a feed from Bridget Kenny would break the tie. Kenny would lift the Bullets to a 2 goal advantage heading into the half with a score with 14 seconds remaining. In the second half, freshman goalie Lindsey Clinton would set the tone early with a point-blank save. The defense led to more offense as junior Kelsey Markowitz ripped a shot into the back of the net. Gettysburg made it a four-goal advantage in short order, with Connolly connecting with Lindsey Robinson for a goal to make it 10-6. Franklin and Marshall bounced back quickly with a pair of man-down goals to slice the deficit in half. The diplomats would get no closer thanks to strong defensive plays and timely scoring by the Bullets. After a cause turnover by Hayward Sars, Baruki scored her third goal of the game on a free position attempt. Connolly once again made it a three goal lead by taking the ball into the scoring area and flipping it past the keeper for her third goal of the game. The Diplomats attempted to run back up the field, but each time the visitors met stiff resistance. Senior Alex Casey came up with a big stop in the final minutes, and the Bullets capitalized with Baruki finding Lauren Pruitt for the goal to make it a four-goal advantage with just over two minutes left. Gettysburg won the contest 14-11 to claim its eighth Centennial Conference Championship. The Bullets received an automatic bid to the NCAA Division III tournament and will head to the national playoffs for the 12th consecutive season. Well, it was very tight, and I think what was going to be a big difference maker was who was going to capitalize on the draws because both teams are capable of having long possessions on their offensive sets and uh, are able to finish on those offensive sets. So toward the end, I believe we managed to get more than the other guy, and um, we took a lot of time on the clock and made those moments very meaningful for us, and I think that was a big difference maker, getting those draws.